YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? This is CJ the Detail Guy. Just at it again. This is uh, Tuesday, January the 3rd. My shop is starting to get some room in here. Um, like I was telling y'all before, what I'm trying to do, clear out some of this space here. Um, I got these last three cars left in the shop. This one's done. Well, it's not done, but y'all know the story behind these. But I got one of the other cars out of here. Um, got some room to do what I need. I told you I need to uh, do some building. And then also I need this space over here for some of the mechanic work that I do on this side over here. And then on this side, on this over here, I need, uh, this is my detail space. So um, I'm getting ready to take one of the cars today, which actually let me um, get out here. Um, show you all this. Actually, get ready. Take one of the cars. Give me one second, y'all. Take y'all on. Take y'all on this little journey with me today. At to the scrapyard. So, actually, get ready to take on the hall on the horse. What's up, Joe? Get ready to take one of these. That ain't much, but how you doing? Good. Take this one here on to the scrap yard. Like I said, I got everything off of this one that I needed off of this one. The frame and everything else on that ain't no good. As you can see, holes all in the floor. So it's just tore up. It's raggedy. Got, got a bunch of stuff. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, partner's asking some questions. But, um,. Yeah, so it's, it's broken all the way down. Like I said, I got it sitting on some blocks because the wheels, the wheels that was on it, I needed the wheels off of this bad boy, so I ain't want to send them to the scrap yard. But, you know, you, like I said, I sold the motor, sold the transmission. Still got the drive shaft in it. Still got the cross, the drive shaft holder in it. I probably should take that off, but I don't want to. That's because it got the rear end in it. Um, brake booster look good but I don't feel like taking all this stuff off and like I said the windshield already got a crack in it right here so I don't want to worry about that but everything else is out of the car it's full of a lot of metal no people probably say why well, don't take that bump off and this bumper is completely cracked in half right here uh, the chrome bumper is straight through you probably can see, not even the back part of this bumper is any good. So, I ain't even want to go through the headache of trying to take all these screws and stuff off of it. The gas tank, like I showed before, is fully rusted. Everything under the car is rusted out. So, I ain't even going to stress myself about that. And both of the quarter lenses is broken on the inside. You might can see it. See it down there. You can't, but... They all broken up, so I ain't even want to try to take them off, so I just left them. But everything else is on here, brakes, everything. So we're going to take this journey together, y'all, to the salvage yard, see what kind of money they give me, which I know they ain't going to give me much of nothing. They're just about to rob me right quick, which is cool. I done made enough money off this car. I just need it out my shop. So on that journey now, I'll cut y'all back on when I get to the salvage yard. Go on. Oh, I'm sorry. What's up, y'all? So I'm on the scales. It's at 10,080 pounds so far. They're going to get the weight when I uh, come off. Once I drop their car, then they'll get the weight of what it actually going to be. So I'll give y'all a second. All right, y'all. Coming off the ramp. The weight scales now, if you ain't never seen the weight scales, just the weight scale. Coming off the weight scale now. About to go down around this loop, come back around. The folks gonna help me take the car off, so that's what I'm headed to do now. I can see they got the unloading, everything right here, so uh, I'm about to make this loop all the way around right quick. Swing back around. Whatever the difference is, at 10,000 pounds, once I go back over the scale. 
said, then I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able from there to uh, uh, get my weight. So I'm going to pull around here. Pull on around right quick. Hold on one second. All right, I'm pulling up over here to where these cones at. Um, they gonna snatch this car up off of here as soon as I get the, uh, see I'm working over there, but as soon as I get uh, where I need to be. So let me, uh, let me do this right quick and then I hit y'all back. So I'm waiting on them right now. The lady to come pick the car up. I got the car right now, I'm gonna hold it like this. So I'm just sitting here waiting for the unloader to come get me. They're gonna go through the windows on this thing and take it up out of here. So just waiting on that. Just waiting on her. I think she's coming. Coming to get me. Coming to get me right now, so let me get out of her way. Get out of her way, so let her do what she do. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna cut it on off, y'all. She said I can't video, so let me put this up. Y'all see it get taken off. Yee! She dropped some things. Cop out of there, though. She got it out of there. All right, y'all, so she got it. She got it off. She dropped some stuff, but she gotta pick it up. So, what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm gonna ride back down over the scales and get my accurate weight now. Hope I don't bust no tire coming through all this glass. But, I'm gonna run the scale right quick, get my accurate weight, then I hit y'all back. Hold on. I was at 10,000, 10, when I first came through. Let's see where I'm at now. So far, I'm at 6,000. Seven. So far, I'm at seventy-six eighty from ten thousand eighty. So far. So. Alright, man. You're good to go. I appreciate it. Where I go to the front? You need to park your uh, vehicle up there somewhere wherever you can fit it, and then go to the window right over there where the gentlemen are standing at. Just tell them my name. Uh, they should have your ticket over there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Alright, so 7680. 7680 was my final weight. So we're gonna go pull up. See what kind of money. What kind of money they talking about. And then Yeah. We're gonna get up out of here. So this is Sam's metal. Pretty quick, quick operation here. Pretty quick operation, so. I'm gonna go over here, pull this trailer out the way, get inside right quick and try to figure out what what I could do real fast, so. Let me hit y'all back. All right, y'all, so they don't want me to do no recording inside, so I ain't gonna be able to show you the recording inside, but I'll show you my ticket or check when I come back out. All right, y'all, I'm back. Here go the forms. Pretty quick process, so as y'all can see, they charged me, they ain't charged me, but they gave me the difference of 2,400 pounds from the 10,080 to the 7680, the net was 2,400 pounds. So they gave me $6.25 per 100 pound. So that came out to $150 for that car with all the scrap metal and everything in it. Um, I really don't know what I would have really got. So I'm not even tripping off for it. That's $150 additional to what I already made off the car. So, not really tripping. I was expecting a little bit more than that, but um, I take that. But they gave me $150 at 2,400 pounds, $6.25 at 2,400 pounds. So, um, 
that's the difference 1080 7680 24 net um so yeah that's the day at sims metal i think right now they beating everybody in the head for metal prices but um i'll take that right now um i'll take that right now so that's where we at all right it's cj the detail guy another video gone Yo, yo, what's going on? This is CJ the Detail Guy with another video. Uh, just getting my detail work on. I'll show y'all the before on this Corvette. I don't know what this is, a C5, C6, I don't know what this is. But I got to do a paint correction on this Joker. Um, you can see it's got scratches, um, little marks and stuff on there cracks right there if you can see that fractures um but the guy want to bring the black back to a shine on this joker so uh, hopefully you can see it it's dirty look at these wheels filthy got to bring that aluminum back up or that polished aluminum back up so i'll be cleaning all of that um it's got scratches and different things in the paint um, so all right y'all back i had a guy trying to get another car done um but he has the hard top and he got the glass top inside so um i gotta polish that i'm gonna take that off and polish that i'm gonna put that on the stand and polish this one out uh, but the rest of the car, it's not in the worst shape, but it's not in the best shape. You can't really see. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But I'm going to try to pull a lot of these scratches and stuff, little stains. You got a leaf stain on it right there. Try to pull stains like that off of and get it back black for them, shiny black. You just want to enjoy this car. It's a lot going on with the, with the older gentleman. So he just want to enjoy it before, you know time so i'm gonna get this joker back together for him um got a little tree sap on it there gotta get that off but it's a lot of surface on this joker so it's gonna take a little time i got a few days or whatnot to get it together scratches on the door right there um so i'm gonna get to work on this bad boy and um as i'm working i'm gonna probably show y'all a little bit of what i got going on how how i'm getting it back to a nice little shine so um this the first day this January 3rd, Tuesday, 2023. Um, this is one of the first uh, paint corrections of the year. So, um, got to get this one together. This joke sound good, too. Sound real good. We got the quad boiler, boiler pipes on there. So it sounds amazing. The car drives good. It only got 40,000 miles on it. It's actually for sale. I uh, think he want 22,000 for it. 22,000 for this bad boy. It's actually it's in pretty good shape. Like I said, it only got 40,000 40, miles on it. Interior looks good. Um, let me see. I can show y'all the mileage on this bad boy. Yeah, it's got 40,710 miles on it. Um, like I said, it's clean inside. It has the glass top to it back there it's in the station. Um, it's a little dirty. I'm going to clean it up good, get it all nice and, you know, clean and looking good. This one has the uh, the windshield uh, number thing on it right there, if you can see that in the windshield. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a six-speed uh six-speed corvette bold sound system in it um uh, she low to the ground too low but she clean inside she ain't horrible carpets ain't ripped up um just need some tlc so i'm gonna try to give it a little love and um try to bring it back out for them so y'all stay tuned for for this um uh, it's cj the detail guy checking out i hit you back when i got some more go on a little bit better look at it now. 
you can see it a little bit more what's going on with the paint and stuff now now I got it under the lights so gotta get it together it's a good it's a pretty decent looking vehicle pretty decent looking vehicle it's just scratched up got stains as you can see it different stains and things on it so gotta get it together hook it up for them. Uh, like I said got some tree sap and all that on there so y'all can see that the markings and the marring and stuff that's on there um, it's got some uh, scratches on the mirror tree sap y'all can see it it's not horrible but it's not you see it's not in the best of shape um, scratches on the door there like I said the wheels are filthy got to get those together so but uh and if you can see that hood it got a little bit of a fade to it um on here so I'm gonna go ahead and get that together for them get that right so yeah this is the work I got cut out for me like I said it's January 3rd the first paint correction of the year for me um so I'm gonna get to it get this thing looking right right and nice for the client uh, so they can enjoy their car so all right this is cj the detail guy i'll hit you back when i got some more yo yo cj the detail guy I'm showing a little bit of my work y'all soaking this vet down before i get ready to wash it up i've already clay barred it got the surface nice and smooth so now i'm soaking it down i'm gonna give it one more good hand wash um treat it with some uh easy bead or some bead maker if you will and then uh dry it down take it inside tape it off tape off all the emblems the light areas the, the words tape all that stuff off and then i'm gonna get down to the paint correction uh, tape around the handles tape around the rubbers up top down i don't want to get any compound on it so Wanted to be crispy. I already got those wheels together, as you can see. They nice and clean now. Some glow to them. So, uh, yeah. So, just showing my work, my process. You know, as I as I get this Corvette together, like I said, this is the first paint correction of 2023. It's a good start. Good practice again for me. Get myself back in the groove and really uh, get down on it. So. Just getting a little work done, trying to make it make it uh, happen for 2023. All right, got some new things coming as well, so stay tuned, y'all. This is CJ the Detail Guy. I hit you back when I got some more. YouTube, I'm back, I'm back. So now that I got it cleaned up, you really can see the surface imperfections on it now and what I actually have to do as far as the paint correction goes. Um, probably can see all the scratching in the paint all the scratching in the paint i got a lot of the stains off of it um it's still got some right here you probably can see that right there got to get that off got scratches right here um there's some fade going on with this top so i gotta buff this back up to a clear shine trimming it across here I gotta polish that out um back across the back now i tested this section right here just to see um how deep I gotta go on it. It's really only gonna be a probably two step process um, once I actually get down on it hard. Um, but two step with a, with a uh, final waxing seal. Um, but just to get these scratches out, probably have to take two steps, two different uh, compound levels and um, polish it up, two different pads, get it right. I probably will use a high speed on it just to get all of these scratches down and then come back behind it with the uh, orbital um, to remove all my swirl marks and different things like that. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and tape off all of these areas. Uh, last thing I want to happen is to get compound all over all this rubber and stuff here. So I'm going to tape these areas all off, um, tape around the lights and stuff like that, the gas, station, gas tank. Um, but now that she clean, you can really see wheels are really nice, nice rims on those. But you probably see that fade better now, right there. Um, so that's that kind of stuff I got to polish up and shine back. 
Um, like I said, I'm going to take that off, do that on the stand. Um, but got to get this tree sap off of here. It's flat, so it should chemicals should get that off, tree sap removal. Um, but y'all see the scratches, all the different things like that scratch on the hood. So I'm just simply going to give it a two-step compound, um, swap out my pads. Um, some of this damage I'm not going to be able to get all the way fixed, like the hard scratch in there, hitch there. Um, it has fracture right there, as you can see. So all that kind of stuff I'm going to be, I ain't going to be able to remove all that kind of stuff. But stains and stuff like that, I'm going to remove it. Now, as you can see, the car has a glow, has a shine to it. Just needs a good, good polish, good compounding, good buffing. Um, and that's what I'm going to do for it. I'm going to get it nice and wet. Um, so this is the before. Um, and once I get to the after, I'll give you a shout back. All right, go on.
see how she look. Y'all see how she looking. See yourself in there. Y'all see that bad boy. No more stains and spots on the hood. Got all that out. Got a little scratching and little chips on it. That's about it, but Besides that, got most of that out. Um, this area down here that was hit down there, got a lot of that out. It still got the crack in it dead. The scratch is dead, but most of that other paint transfer, I got all that out. That that crack is still there, but it's lightened up a little bit, but it's still there. It ain't going nowhere. So that's fiberglass, so you know. But uh, everything else with the car is in order, is together. Ready to turn into the customer in the morning. Uh, you see the wheels clean all the way through. Tire shine, ready to go, looking great. So, y'all tell me what you think. She looking good to me. That roof that was faded all out, shined it all up, got it looking good, y'all. The pillar, everything, got it all looking good. So, ready to turn it over to the customer in the morning, but. Um, I'm about to let go. I'm about to get out of here. It's, I've been in here all day messing with this car, so 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead on and say peace to y'all. Uh, I'm gonna drop this one off in the morning, but if you need anything, just give me a shout, man. I'm CJ the Detail Guy on YouTube and on Instagram. You can hit me in the DMs on that. On my Facebook page, CJ the Detail Guy. Everything CJ the Detail Guy. Hit me up, yo. All right, I'm gone. Yo, yo. This is her first high school game, number three. Go to it. Let's get it. 